Storm Babbitt, red weather warning of unprecedented levels of rain. A red weather warning for unprecedented heavy rainfall and severe wind has been issued for parts of Scotland. Storm Babbitt is expected to cause severe flooding and risk to life on Thursday and Friday. The worst affected areas are likely to be around Angus and Aberdeenshire. Yellow severe weather warnings of wind and rain have also been issued for Northern Ireland and northern and eastern areas of England. The Met Office weather warning runs from 18 o'clock on Thursday until noon on Friday, with between 10-15 cm, 4-6 in of rain expected to fall quite widely within the warning period and some locations likely to see between 20-25 cm, 8-10 in. The red warning states there is danger to life from fast flowing or deep flood water in Aberdeenshire and Angus, with extensive flooding and road closures also expected. It is feared there could also be power cuts and that some areas could be cut off for days. Storm Babbitt was forecast to bring unprecedented levels of rain to the northeast of Scotland, with flooding that would cause significant disruption and be a danger to life. Amber warnings remain in place across other parts of northeast Scotland and the Highlands on Thursday and Friday, with yellow warnings covering much of the country through until Saturday. Many of the affected areas across the UK are still saturated by heavy rain that caused flooding earlier this month. The deluge was said to have been the worst since the 1890s. Scottrail has already cancelled services on several routes in Scotland on Thursday and Friday. The cancellations will also affect services between Glasgow Queen Street and Aberdeen and Inverness, and between Edinburgh Waverley and Aberdeen and Inverness. Meanwhile, Police Scotland has urged people to avoid any form of travel during the period of the red weather warning. Driving conditions are expected to be extremely dangerous with disruption and significant delays. Eighteen inches. Oh, you better. That's what they can see. That's like a later time.
Gale force winds in Wales are expected to cause flooding, power cuts, and travel disruption. Storm Bavit, a complex area of low pressure which developed to the west of the Iberian Peninsula, was named by the Met Office on Monday morning. It is the second named storm of the 2023-24 season, which started in early September, with the naming convention aimed at making it easier for people to engage with weather forecasts. What is a red weather warning? Red is the most severe of the Met Office's three colored weather warnings. It means that dangerous weather is expected and, if you have not already done so, you should take action now to keep yourself and others safe from the impact of the severe weather. It is very likely that there will be a risk to life, with substantial disruption to travel, energy supplies, and possibly widespread damage to property and infrastructure. You should avoid traveling, where possible, and follow the advice of the emergency services and local authorities. Rain warnings for every county in the Republic of Ireland were in place overnight, having come into effect at various stages on Tuesday. Rain would be accompanied by very strong winds that would bring large waves near some eastern coasts. The last red warning issued in the UK was for extreme heat in July of last year. Scotrail has warned people traveling on Thursday and Friday to check journeys in advance, with Storm Babbitt likely to cause disruption to services. Transport Scotland said, we recently witnessed some of the most severe weather in Scotland since the 1890s, and this is looking like another period of extreme weather, which could present a risk to life. Scottish and Southern Electricity Networks said some areas could face gusts of up to 70 miles per hour, particularly on eastern coasts. The strongest winds are currently forecast to be on Thursday afternoon and into the early evening. The energy firm said it was mobilizing more teams to deal with any damage to the network and subsequent faults. Thank you. 